Alberto Valatim on the right hand side. Through ball. James Beat is one on one. Petr Cech. He is keeping us in this game. What's going on guys? My name is Adam. I am a super swan. I welcome to episode 13 of Project Pompey. We're still in seventh place. We're still in the UEFA Cup hunt, but we are four points behind Villa and Liverpool who are above us in the table. Villa have got that game in hand, but we do play them today. So we do have a chance to fingers crossed pull some points back. We've got to look behind us as well, because Leeds are only two points back, and Southampton, who we play today, if they do win, they'll be level on points with us. So it's all very tight, anywhere from 5th to about ninth and 10th. It's all very tight in the Premier League. So since you last left us, we had those two draws against Birmingham and Leeds. We've been alright, to be fair. We beat Stoke in the FA Cup 1-0 to beat Trov grabbing the goal. We beat Charlton 1-0 away from home. Yaya Torre with the penalty. Although we did lose 3-1 to Chelsea, which, with the big teams, we kind of expect that we're going to lose those games. We beat Preston the fourth round of the Cup 2-0. Shiru and Van Persie grabbing the goals. And probably the best performing game since you left us was a 3-0 hammering of Spurs. Van Persie, Torre and Yakubu grabbing the goals. We did beat Leicester 2-1, Yakubu and Van Persie. Two players who are in form at the moment and are banging in goals for fun. But then we did lose to Arsenal 1-0, which we didn't do too bad. We only let the one goal in, so I think that was a good performance from the boys. And we did draw Liverpool in the FA Cup fifth round and we lost 1-0 to them as well. So two good performances against two top teams. So I'm hoping that's going to give us some good form going into our South Coast derby against Southampton. Speaking of, who have they signed this season? Let's have a look. So they've got a lot of players in. Anybody we recognise? So they've got Sendros on loan from Arsenal, who looks a very solid centre-back, to be fair. Wonderkid, 20 years old. Hmm, interest. I'll, I'll note that for later. Anybody else I recognise? Hmm, not really. Titus Bramble on loan from Newcastle. Got him there. Let's have a look at him. Titus Bramble, 23 years old. And no nods as centre-back. And also play ball playing centre-back. He looks quite good, man. He's got some very good greens in his arsenal. And Scott Brown from Hibernians. The, the, the future Celtic captain. They've got into Southampton. He looks pretty good, to be fair. 19 years old. Four camps for Scotland. He's got some very good physicals. But mm, decent. I think Scott... Well, he's done as a press in four. I thought he was a centre-back. I could be wrong, but I thought he was a centre-back, Scott Brown. Unless I'm mixing them all up. It, 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 I could be mixing them up. I'll have to have a look at the end of the episode to see what happened there. But out, they let Neil McCann go. Roy Delap went to Middlesbrough. Svensson's gone to Strasbourg. Brett Allrod's gone to Stoke Fernandez, on loan at Leeds. We've already played him this season. Austin Delgado's gone to Olympiacos. So a lot of turnover in Southampton. Very similar to us, really. We had quite a number of turnover. But... Is that going to be enough to get a win over Portsmouth? So the tactics for the Portsmouth game, if I can get to the right screen. There we go. So we're going to have Petr Cech in goal. Matty Taylor, Dawson, Stefanovic and Varela. Torre, Amdi Feyer, Nolan, Van Persie, Yakubu and Dimitrov. Probably the first choice 11 in this team. We've only made the one sign in the January transfer window. And it was a loan sign in. We've got Azier Del Hordo on loan from Bilbao. We can sign him at the end of the season for 1.3 mil. I wanted to get a good wing back that could cross because Pasquale was a bit... Mm, and we do have the option of signing him for 1.5 mil. So he probably will come in next season as our backup left back for Matty Taylor instead of having to loan Pasquale to fill that role. But Del Horno, who went to Chelsea in real life, didn't make that much of an impact, I don't think, at Chelsea. He didn't really stand out to me when he was there. But a one for the future, 24 years old. I think he'll probably be our backup left back for the season. And that was the only signing we made. Matty Taylor kicked up a fuss because you wanted to go to Newcastle. I told him no. He settled down a bit now. He's kind of accepted the fact that he is staying at Portsmouth. So I'm going to give a passionate... Let's give the fans something to cheer for today. The team are up for it. I'm going to tell you, Kubu, we have what it takes. And it's the South Coast derby. Southampton against Portsmouth, 7th against 9th. If Southampton win today, they will go level on points with Portsmouth. 
but we're going to stop that from happening and beat our rivals and show we are the dominant team on the south coast. And we open up with a corner, four minutes in. Svensson crosses, Stefanovic clears. Yaya Torre heads it on to Yakubu. Counter-attack, Yakubu's got the pace, goes to the far line. Crosses it, but it's deflected. And we are going to start the move off again. Stefanovic taking his time. Playing it back to Petacek. He'll play that ball to Matty Taylor, who can make the impact on the left. Van Persie, long ball to Yakubu, who's going to chase. Oh, it's a mistake, and Yakubu scores the goal. And four minutes in, it's 1-0 to Portsmouth. A mistake from the back at Southampton, and Yakubu's there to pounce for his 14th goal of the season. Van Persie starts to move off, a looping ball over the defence. Is it Titus Bramble? It is. It had to be Titus Bramble, didn't it? It had to be him, and Yakubu pounces. And within the first five minutes... We are 1-0 up. Coming up to half-time, and that's been the only highlight of this game, has been that opening goal. But we do have a highlight just before half-time. We've got about a minute to go. Can we get another one? Van Persie coming inside. He's got players in front of him. Finds Yaya Torre. Kevin Nolan! It's 2-0 to Portsmouth. And 2 one goal before, well, one goal after kick-off, and one goal just before half-time. And Kevin Nolan doesn't score that many goals. But he is involved a lot with the link-up play. And he has got himself a goal today. Van Persie finds Torre. Torre the lovely through ball. First time shot from Kevin Nolan. And it is 2-0 to Portsmouth at Fratton Park. And it looks like we are the dominating team on the south coast. Well onside. Nothing to write home about. It's just a simple 2-0. And we're going to give a really good team talk going into half-time as the boys have played very well. Not many highlights. Only the two which end up being two goals. But I'll take that any day of the week. We're limiting them on the shots, but we're not getting much of the possession. So I'm going to give a very pleased with the performance. I don't want to give too many negative thoughts there. But Dimitrov, he's not playing that well. So I'm going to move Van Persie on to the right. And I'm going to bring on... Who have we got? Who have we got? Well, we'll move Matty Taylor up to inside forward. And we'll bring on Del Horno at left back to go up and down the wing. So Matty Taylor's going to be on the left. Van Persie on the right. Can we add to our tally and show Southampton what we mean and why we are we are Pompey. We are going for the UEFA Cup. We are the best team on the South Coast. Yakubu the header off the post. Del Horno almost made it 3-0 Portsmouth. He just had to kick it over the line and it would have been 3-0. But we are dominating this game at the moment. Can we carry on as we started? Free kick from Svensson, 50 minutes. I had a lovely save from Petr Cech. Caught me a bit off guard there, but we did make the save. Off the line, Petr Cech. It's going to be something special to get past him. Still 2-0 to Portsmouth. On the hour mark, and it's Portsmouth on the ball, but we do lose it. Prutton on the ball, the Titus Bramble. Pieri to Svensson. Southampton had a bit more of the ball in the second half. Svensson again. Finds James Beatty to Prutton. He's got a bit of room. And Petr Cech with a save. He ain't going to let an easy go go past him. He's on form. And he's showing why he is one of our top goalkeepers. Svensson crosses it. Torre clears it as far as Yagui. That's not how you say his name. And that'll go out for a throw in. Still 2 0 Portsmouth. And we'll make some changes. Might as well. 65 minutes. Van Persie. The problem I've got is Dimitrov's the only good right winger I have. So when it comes to underperforming, I can't really bring anyone on to, to try and change the game. So that's going to be something in the summer I have to address. Bramdi Faze on 73%. Who have we got on the bench? We'll bring Bruno Sheru on for him. And we'll move Nolan into the deep line playmaker role. So that's the only sub I'm going to make for now. 65 minutes. Still 2-0. Still looking good value for our lead. 70 minutes starts on the back. Senderos. Southampton have had a bit more highlights in the second half. But they were still 2-0 up. So that's fine by me. As they keep on playing it back. Alberto Valatim on the right-hand side. Through ball. James Beatty's one-on-one. Peta check. He is keeping us in this game. And he should be man of the match, I reckon. Because he's had a few one-on-ones that he has saved. And he is doing Portsmouth a massive favour today by keeping us in this game. 
and a win today will be six points clear of Southampton. Goes up for a throw. Petr Cech once again to the rescue. 85 minutes, my last sub. I'm going to bring Varela off as he's looking a bit tired. We'll bring Kasnobu on for him just to mix things up at the back. Van Pace is on 6.3. Not turned up today. He has been in form recently, but he's not on form today. But we've got five minutes to go. Can we hold off for a famous win against Southampton? A famous 2-0 win? Possibly more. But Yakubu on the ball. The subs haven't gone through yet. Del Horno, Van Persie. If you'd have put that in, you would have shut me up. But we're still 2-0 up. And we might as well see us through to full time. I think Petr Cech has been man of the match. It says Kevin Nolan's got the highest rating. But I think Petr Cech is the man that's kept us in this game. And basically won us this game. As he has saved a few one-on-ones against Southampton. And it's up to him that we've had all three points today. But we've got about 15 seconds left to go. We've just got to make sure we don't do anything stupid like Titus Bramble did earlier. But a mistake from Titus Bramble has kind of set Southampton up today. And we have taken full advantage of that mistake. And we're waiting for the full-time whistle. Matty Taylor. Is there one goal left in this game? Kiss Norbo. Finds Kevin Nolan. I don't think there is. We pass it around too much. There's nothing being made. There is the full-time whistle. 2-0 to Portsmouth. And we're going to let the team know that it was a very good performance against our South Coast rivals. 2-0 win. Aston Villa didn't play. So they've got two games in hand over us now. But we do triumph in the South Coast derby. Marco Tardelli, the Southampton manager, is not happy with their performance. I certainly wouldn't be either. But Kevin Nolan, you were superb with a number of with the quality chances created. I don't think that was particularly good. Oh, just accept the praise, Kevin Nolan. Accept the praise. So as far as the league table, we do put some distance between us and Southampton. We are only a point behind Villa and Liverpool, but Villa have got two games in hand and Liverpool got one game in hand over us. So that's not really a true reflection of where we are, but we are five points clear of Leeds in eighth place. So we are still chasing that UEFA Cup place. But the next game we've got is against Aston Villa, and that's going to be a very big game. We are away from home, so I think that we're either going to catch up to them, or they're going to put more distance between us. But I will see you for the Aston Villa game. Can we catch up to our rivals? Sixth place Aston Villa, and looking at their team, it's a fairly strong team. The best player they got is Darius Fassell, four and a half stars. He's scored 24 goals this season. And they've got Wayne Rooney in their team as well, who scored 19 goals this season. We'll have a look at their transfers. So I know Everton did get relegated, but they do have Wayne Rooney. So in real life, he went to Man United. In this series, he went to Aston Villa. And he did go for big money. I think it was 22 mil I seen. 22 and a half million pounds. So Wayne Rooney banging in the goals for Villa. And it looks like they've got a good pop prospect in their squad. Anybody else? Robert Huth, they've got on loan from Chelsea. The future good player he's going to be. Anybody else? Alan McGregor from Rangers for 17k. Although he is more of a backup goalkeeper than anything. Out. Peter Crouch is on loan, so he is still kicking around. Peter Crouch, 24 years old. I wonder if he'll break it through into the first team. Peter Ankelman went to Tottenham. Luke Moore went out on loan. So they did have a bit of a clear out. Juan Pablo Angel went to Real Sociedad. Mark Kinsella went to Bolton. J. Lloyd Samuel went to £20 million to Real Sociedad. I don't think he's worth £20 million, but there we are. They went. That's how much they paid for him. And then a bunch of loan sign-ins as well. So Villa, bit of a clear out themselves, but they've got some really good players in their team. And it's something what we've got to be very careful of going into this away game against Villa. So very similar tactics. The only thing I've changed is that if Kovic comes in for Matty Dawson, I've gotten a bit more cautious as opposed to control because they're probably going to want to play the ball around. I do want to strike on the counter-attack. So if we win this game, it's going to put us in a very good position for UEFA Cup. If we lose, it puts a bit of distance between us and Villa. I don't think it's going to be pretty hard to try and get any higher than 6th place. But I know some of you are keen to avenge what happened against Aston Villa last time out. I, I can't remember what happened against Aston Villa last time. But Portsmouth are going to try and get revenge at Villa Park. And it's Aston Villa against Portsmouth in the race for the UEFA Cup places. 14 minutes in. 
and Andy Fay off the Zivkovic free kick. Oh, there was a bit of a rash back pass, but Petr Cech deals with it as calmly as you like. Hopefully we get another man of the match performance out of him. Dimitrov, long ball to Yakubu. He gets it, he's one-on-one. -on -one. And Yakubu had the chance to make it 1-0, just like he did in the last game. But he couldn't put it away. But we do get a corner. Yaya Torre whips it in. Yakubu with a header. Kevin Nolan, it's Kevin Nolan with the goal. We didn't get the one-on-one, -on -one, but we did score from the corner. And Kevin Nolan puts us 1-0 up against Aston Villa. And that is the perfect start to this game. Corner in, Yakubu heads it, cleared by Robert Hoof, but Nolan is there and he smashes at the top of the net. That's two games in a row he has scored. 1 0 Portsmouth. 27 minutes, it's been all Portsmouth. Aston Villa have not had a shot on target. We've had all the possession. So I'm going to keep it on cautious for now. So if we're on control, then that might change the dynamic of the game. Don't fix what's not broken. But Dimitrov again with a long ball. We just had a chance and Yakubu puts it wide. And they are being very much exploited with the ball over the top. Still only 1-0. Coming up to half time. It's been all Portsmouth. We've had a very good game. Although Van Persie's only on a 6.5. So his two games he hasn't turned up. Might have been a bit worried about his form. So we do go into half time. I'm going to say I'm pleased how things are going. Because I am pleased how things are going. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to move Matty Taylor up to inside forward. And we're going to bring on Del Horno to cover at the back. So other than that, we're playing very well. Still only 1-0. I would like to get a second just to put a bit of distance. But the way things stand, we'll be going up to fifth place in the league. But let's not talk too quick. Lee Hendry whips it in. Shemmel clears it. It's going to go as far as Pardo for Villa. But Taylor wins it though. Matty Taylor. Long ball, Yakubu's there. Again, Yakubu, but it's a blocked shot. But Dimitrov's going to recycle that ball. Amdi Fay. Who can he find? Yaya Torre. Long ball to find Shemmel. Shemmel is there. Crosses it. Anybody there? Oh, it's off the post, I believe. Off the post. And it's still only 1 0 Portsmouth. Throw in, though, Aston Villa, 52 minutes. Shemmel wins the ball. I'm scared, though, that it's all us. And they're going to score off their first shot. I'm really scared that's going to happen. But Matty Taylor. Yakubu. Oh, Yakubu, you've had a lot of chances in this game to score. Might have to bring you off because you're not putting away your one-on-one -on -one chances. But Matty Taylor whips it in. And that's going to go out for a throw in. Yakubu is wasting his chances. We're feeding him. We're feeding the yak. But he's not scoring. 65 minutes in, we are going to make some changes. Yakubu, you, you're not doing it. We're going to bring Torov on for you because you're just not putting away your chances. Anybody else looking a bit tired or underperforming? Kevin Nolan's on 73%. Yaya yeah, Torre, 74 I'm pretty happy with how things are going right now. 65 minutes, I'm hoping to find that second goal. Lee Hendry, 80 minutes. Free kick. It's a header. Petr check with a save. It's off the line. Oh, is it a goal? Not a chance off the line. Petr Cech again, keeping it out. 10 minutes to go, still 1-0. Free kick, Robert Huth, 86 minutes. And it's gone wide of the goal. I'm really scared of an Aston Villa equaliser. Very scared. But we'll see it out to full time. And it does look like we are going to get a win today against Aston Villa. And it's a very good win for us in our race for the UEFA Cup. But it's not over yet. Let's not get too excited. If they score the last kick of the game, but Shemmel, Shemmel's played well today. There is the full-time whistle. 1-0 to Portsmouth. It could have been more, but I'm just happy that we got the win. So I'm going to say, well done on a great result. Two wins from two on camera today, and that has put us into fifth place in the league. Oh, fifth place Portsmouth. We were in control, and if we look at that league table... We are in fifth place. Okay, Newcastle got a game in hand. Okay, Villa have got two games in hand. But we're only a point behind Liverpool. Although they have a game in hand. But let's not get too far ahead of games in hand. We're, we're in fifth place. Is there a sneaky Champions League push on the horizon? I, I don't think so, to be honest with you. I'll be happy with the UEFA Cup. I'll take a UEFA Cup place. So fifth or sixth will do me fine. 
But yeah, drink it in, guys. Portsmouth are in fifth place in the league. So what we'll do, we'll come back for... We'll come back for Man United Sunderland. So an away game against Old Trafford, which will probably get absolutely stuffed. But, you know, that, that's to be expected. And we can bounce back in 19th place Sunderland, who hopefully by then will be relegated. And we can kind of just put four past them and keep up our push for the UEFA Cup place. So the games you're going to miss out on, only the four games. Liverpool at home, very interesting game that'll be. Seeing as where we are both in the league. Man City away, Gillingham away and Blackburn at home. So only the four games you're going to miss out on. But we're going to come back, and if I got my maths right, on Wednesday for Man United Sunderland. And then we'll end the week with Birmingham and Newcastle at the end of the season. So there we are, fifth place Portsmouth. Our UEFA Cup push continues, but we do have a, a game against United coming up next time. They are probably going to win the league, look at the points. So can we put a damper on the title challenge? And can we continue that push for European places? Leave a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager 2019 content. We upload Project Pompey every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, 6pm GMT. And tune in next time as we take on Man United at the top and Sunderland at the bottom. Thank you very much for watching.